Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, and this is a mush bar. We're, I see we're harvesting the bristle blossoms right now, too. Mush bar, that's about the bottom of the food chain. That's when you don't have anything else to eat. You can make mush bars made of dirt and water. And its quality level is grisly. <laughs> Yummy. Anyway, we're doing a harvest all over this map right now. Zoom in here. There's all of our of our meal lice crawling around the mealwood plants. Mm. Our temperature is a little bit too warm. Toasty surroundings, which is stifling the plants. The bristle blossoms are a lot more uh, temperamental than the other ones. So we're going to have to eventually find a, a cooler place to grow a bunch of those. Otherwise, we do have a dupe to look at here. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Get this one going. The new countdown starts as soon as we do this, so waiting all episode means we're going to have less choices to go through. Good learning. Some strength in construction. Zero. Hmm. It's an ugly crier. Things won't get... It won't be pretty when this duplicate gets too stressed. Um, binge Eater is another one. They'll just sit there and gobble up all of your food when they're all stressed out. Otherwise, five learning. Zero. Strength, learning, construction, tinkering. This isn't bad. Don't know if I want to get too many too fast, though. Hmm. Let's hold off and think about that. Right now, well, with mush bars, we're, we're making it, but we're gonna, we need to get some more uh, uh, some more farming in, that's for sure. Hmm. Now, this is full of carbon dioxide, and plants breathe in carbon dioxide. You would think that this would be a great place to grow plants. What's the temperature down here? Uh, up in this area, we're 74 degrees, 73, 72, 69. These plants want... What's it take to find out? Not there. If I go to stifled, I'm looking for a temperature range. If I click here, there we are. Temperature, negative 9 up to 73.4, and we're at 74-ish. There it is, 73.7. So we're right on that edge. But it'll go all the way down to negative 9. Huh. And they want a minimum of 150 grams air pressure. And we're in the 400s in, in here. Uh, okay, too low. That's interesting. What was I seeing there? So lower... Well, it's jumping all over, though. 500 grams, 300 grams... Okay, so it's bouncing all over as things are swirling and moving around in here. Let's do that. Let's cancel these two and these two. And hopefully we can get that one harvested in time. Now it's, it's ready to go. Otherwise, let's put in some, some what? Food? Well, I would love to get to where we've got the farming tiles going before I do any more planting. I mean, I get that option, though. Let's just stick a few down here. Uh, there. There we go. Made out of dirt. And always I've noticed when you just turn the game on, no matter what you click on the first time, you don't get a priority bar down here. Click it again, and now your priority bar. That's a little bug that's in the game that they haven't quite worked out yet. And I went through and reprioritized a bunch of stuff because stuff wasn't getting done. So... The seven, 7 is now the new 8. 8 is the new 9. And we'll, we'll go with that until everything becomes 8s and 9s again. And then I'll go back and reprioritize everything. What do we do with these guys? Do we go for one more? I'm going to say no this time. Let's make sure that we at least get the bedrooms made for the first ones we've got. Before we keep adding more people to it. This air is atrocious. How are we going to deal with this? First of all, this is an 8, and it is waiting for water, which is probably being picked up right now. Yeah, they're all getting fired up again. 
So I guess these guys need to be nines just to make sure that they override everything else out there. Here's the... I'm going to get someone... Yeah, the mush bar being birthed. What did you guys to see? Have the, the pleasure of, of not being able to unsee this. After this, we're going to switch back over to Lice Loaf. But that is a mush bar. Mm -hmm. All right, no more. You turn you off. We're going to go here and continuous of the meal loaf, which is made of meal, lice, and water. A little better than dirt and water. And its quality is only terrible. Mm -hmm. But that will be our food from here on out. All right. On my list of to-dos is the same list as last time. Set research, build bedrooms, and get the massage bed going, which we did get going. We have got Murphy quite stressed out right now. <clears throat> this should be set at a 9. It is. And it's set for 25 to 15, so it just missed that threshold. Let's instead see Murphy's 22, Ebony. Ebony's up there too. All right, let's do this. Murphy, Ebony, and Natalia. Murphy, you now get this bed. Ebony gets this bed. Natalia gets this bed. Going to have a nice cleaned up area. Let's grab Sweep at 8 and clean these out. There's only a couple things in there. And let's set these as 9s to get one work of art done in each room. Hopefully by the end of the day. And then eventually we'll get all the artwork going, but that will get us started. Decor, art, we'll get one in here as well. I guess we'll go ahead and set these. Um, and it stayed as sandstone. Nice. I don't know how many times I have built obsidian <laughs> blank canvases. <laughs> forgetting to reset the material because it bounced on me but with that priorities what are we looking at here let's take these guys to seven but Tomislav who is a four in creativity is going to tackle the uh, the paintings give us some masterpieces okay air pressure how are we looking well we're Apparently that just got turned back on. Ah, it just got reloaded. It's probably been sitting there. Let's make sure that you're in nine. So you, along with the plants, the uh, algae terrariums, need to be high priority. Get into uh, get into air problems if we don't. There's still oxygen in here. Sufficient concentration, low concentration. So getting a little iffy on the uh, ability to breathe while we're sleeping. Don't want that. And let's get this set up higher as well. Let's go for a 9 there. See if we can't get that bed in and get one more person in a bed. You're also a 9. So two very important projects to try to get done. Um, that means I've got to prioritize you two as a 9 in order to get in there. Okay. We can build a bed on the rock and be fine. Just... Uh, have to make sure that none of, it, none of it is dug out without the tiles replaced or the bed becomes worthless. But yeah, we're going to plow through this. We've got one painting down over here, which is going to give us a little bit of green in this room. This room is already doing fairly good without it because it's all cleaned up. So that helps a lot. Clean environment would uh, would do quite a bit to... What was that? Someone did off a squeal. Quite a bit to uh, to get rid of the stress. With more air pressure up here, I'm hoping we can push some of this down. Got to get this this dealt with. I'm not sure exactly what to do. We could, when we um, start adding duct work. I wish this thing didn't flash everything with the mouse while I'm moving around. Because I move around a lot and this is driving me nuts. But uh, when we get the duct work in up in here, we could send one down and pop into this space. And as it blows fresh air into here, it'll push the carbon dioxide through. That's probably the way to go. I... Did I not turn this off? It couldn't have reset already. It did. Well, that was weird. Maybe the countdown does continue in the background. Huh. Um, 
I'm going to say no to these guys for now. Yeah, I'm going to say no to them. And there will be many opportunities to see the, to get more choices. This thing will pop two or three times every episode, I'm guessing. And there are a lot of episodes planned. There's so much to this game, the pace that I'm going. I just finished RimWorld Alpha 13 at episode 100. And the, pa the, uh, the, the, the pace that I'm going with this game, we're going to be hitting episode 100 here too. <laughs> Anyway, because I don't run the game at full speed, I take my time and watch what they're doing. And that is the way to paint. You get your paint gun out there and just spark, 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 spark. Yeah. Throwing, look at the nuts and bolts that it's throwing into the, the, uh, the uh, buildings that they're creating. Kind of, a, kind of fun graphics. And we need to cool this down just enough to get this one out of here. Hmm. Well, we have bedrooms. We have a little more time. Oh, we have all the bedrooms. Oh, good. Then let's get this one priority nine and this one priority nine. See if we can get <clears throat> another canvas or two in here. Otherwise, research. That's what got left off. Let's get back to that as well, which means a lot of the building is going to come to an end. So what are we missing? Power regulation. guess it's a bigger battery, a switch, and a bridge. The bigger battery's nice, but otherwise I've hardly ever used these other ones. The, the bridge once in a while when it's really necessary. But mostly it's the foundation to get into what's next. The heavy wattage wiring is going to be pretty important, and the transformer to attach it to the regular wiring. And the coal generator getting us out eventually to the hydrogen and natural gas generator, which is what we'll probably use. Hmm. Otherwise, these are important. Okay. Air scrubber and electrolyzer. That guy's... Everything is important in one way or another. Where do we go? Well, let's just get the basic done real quick, just so that that's in place. And it just takes one dupe off the line to work just this guy. Which is where I might even consider putting one more of these in. You know, let's do that. We've got uh, more than, than one available to run it. Let's do that. Stations, let's put in the second small research, or the or just research, the elementary one. And you were copper, yeah. And I'll tell you what, we'll put in the wiring, then we'll reset both. Make you... Make you an eight. Let's kind of get that done first thing tomorrow. We'll be working on these nines first. There goes the first one. This one started, but someone freaked out and needed food or something. All right, so are we making the lice loaf? Eight lice loaf. I know we have it. We just harvested it. You, edible. Meal lice zero. How is that possible? Would you guys just eat the meal lice? You probably did. Hmm. Well, guys. Yep, I think that's what they did. They gobbled down the raw ingredients and didn't wait for it to be made into something edible. Something better. Now, this is where we could tell them to no longer eat any of those. And that might be a good idea for next time. I kind of like that idea. Okay, that's off limits. Until I get the message that so-and-so is starving, then I'll wish I hadn't done that. So, for tomorrow, we finally got bedrooms done. Let's get one more bedroom done. So let's set kind of what I want to do at the night. Rather than speed through the night, this is my chance to plan the next day. Once we really get into a pattern of, of making everything work. So eights, now yeah, we'll do sevens yet. But we will include this in with it. Which means we need to dig our way into there. Dig seven right there. Get us into that. We're going to seven everything in here. I want to get the massage table out of here so that everyone can have their own mess table. When they eat at a mess table, they're better. They're better off. They, they, uh, they get a, a bonus to their stress. So this would be Ebony's mess table. 
This is, oh, that's interesting. Everybody reset when I did that? Okay, don't do that again. Because Ebony just got an interrupted sleep. So, I'll wait till daytime. There we go. But, pause. Who lives where? Natalia's mess table is there. Tomislav's, we'll say dinner table, uh, right there. We don't have one for Murphy. That's why we've got to get this moved out of here. And this one's not built yet. Okay. So, I never got a chance to continue evaluating here. Food is important as well. You guys are all eights. So that, built today, that built today, and then get back in and continue bedrooms. That is today's plan. So while they are doing that, without me having to babysit them, where are we going next? Now, be nice to get, you know what would be nice? What does it take to get into the farming, uh, that's up here? Let's go here right now. Let's do that. Basic plumbing is there. <clears throat> you need water for the hydroponic farm. Well, I when this is, gets done, I'll be able to click on it and read more details, whether you can add water to this as well or not. Or if it's just fertilizer goes into this one. This one might get fertilizer and water. We'll see. We've got <clears throat> access to the plumbing, to the laboratory and shower now. The sewage output, the, the waste water, could be used to water those garden tiles. Normally you would run them into this guy right... Where did you go? Right here. The water purifier would take the, uh, the waste water, clean it all up by adding sand to it, and then you dump that right back into your water supply again and just make a, a loop that fills this back up. But... Now we can use the garden to, just wondering how best. Temperature over here, kind of hot. Quite hot. If we put the garden plots over here, the, what do you call those? The hydroponic farms. Okay. Over here, but this is going to be too hot for it. Why is it so warm? Is there a steam vent that we don't know about? These guys are kind of fun. While I'm over here looking, I'm just noticing him. Yep, yep, you got rid of that slime. Yep, uh-huh. <laughs> ah, steam geyser. This is warming this area up. Okay, well, there's our fresh water supply. So where else can we go that's kind of polluted, but not so warm? 87, vacuum, vacuum, 89. This whole area is warm. Up in here, 80 degrees. That's less. Mealwood takes what, temperature-wise? Up to 86 we could experiment with up here for polluted water farming. Hmm, I'm just talking out loud. Trying to think about where to go next while they're doing what they're doing. Let's get you set as a nine. You set as a nine. And you set as an eight. Make sure that happens soon. All right. They're working, and I see that uh, Ebony has been stressed out enough to go sit down at the table until we ran out of power. Ah, that's what keeps them from staying too long in the table. Someone's got to be running this thing. So, tell you what, let's take this guy a little bit higher. Ah, 30%. So that it'll trigger a little bit sooner before the batteries die off. And eventually we will get the bigger batteries in there and they'll run a little more efficiently. Okay, these guys are plugged in, but nobody is using them because they're an 8 and they're an 8. And all of our construction, some of our construction is set for 8. Actually, it was just these guys, that one, and some of the canvases. So the high, high importance construction is done. All right, you guys are these. Copy settings. Take you right on across like that. Perfect. Um, what do we have in the way of seeds? If I cancel you, we've got five more after this one. Okay. So if we get the growing conditions as ideal as possible, we will duplicate those seeds. And we will make new seeds. We're not even close to that, though, are we? Yeah, we're not fertilized and we're not irrigated. 
So do we get harvest rating of 16 out of 100? Not too good. So tell you what, let's not plant all of these so that we definitely have a few seeds left over because they only get three harvests and they're done. If we don't find more seeds, we could be in trouble. Um, let's just do that many. Okay. And, yeah. Now, we've got a hatch hiding down here. I do want to get this swept up. That's why I didn't want to do this, now that I think about it. The hatch could go through and eat all the meal lice if they don't immediately pick it up. Let's take the hatch down a little bit deeper. Dig me nine. Um... Hmm... Too wide? Was that going to be a problem? Let's start here. Dig that out. I, or can I just put that right over the top? I can. Base, tile, sandstone, nine. Guys, fill this in quickly. Let's make that a high priority, as high as that painting. It's only Tomislav working on the painting. No one else is qualified, so everyone else should get the, the order right there. Start filling in all these materials. Well, good, We've, everything is delivered. Now it's just a matter of punching our way through and filling it in. Perfect. Cracking isn't forming yet. Oh, it's starting to. Fill it in, fill it in. Okay, we're repairing it. Good. Whew! Alright, we're pretty well secure in the water now. So with that, we could ladder down like so. Hmm... Yep, that'll do for now. And that key, well, dig to what? This may be the right place to put those aquatic tiles and those hydroponic tiles afterward. When we take these up and just transfer down into there. So, for now, let's take you down to something like that. We'll expose that last little oxalite, little boost, little bonus. And I guess we can go just a little bit further, like so. And let's get some of this done immediately so that we can get this hatch to fall down in. All right, so let's ladder to here. And we're using sandstone, good. Let's prioritize nine down there and this part. Let's prioritize eight, the rest of it. These three sands, four sands, are going to fall in. Three sands. And that's not too big of a problem. I do want that swept. Uh, swept at a nine. Make sure it gets done. And that one. And the sand. Okay. Now oh, there's another one right there. Which is basically all of it. The sand I don't want eaten by the hatch when he wakes up. And they do tend to prioritize sweeping over and above anything else. It's interesting how they do that. No, I'll take that back. Maybe they're doing the construction first. She's just sucking up sandstone to fill these in with. Okay, well, the, the seeds got out of here. That was important. And I still don't know if there is a hatch hiding in that. I thought about building two floor tiles and then bust it loose and see if it is he'll hop out and join this one. So I'm waiting to open that up to see what it is. If I built ladders there, I don't know if the hatch will obey the ladders or not. Or if it'll fall through. Not sure. I've never seen a hatch climb a ladder. Alright, well you guys are going to clean up and you're going to tunnel down, hopefully far enough into here. I'll tell you what I could do. I'm a little micromanaging, but the sand I want. The sandstone I can cancel. Right there. Cancel the sweep. What else is in there? Oh, okay. That are the symbols something else. Alright. So you, sandstone, cancel sweep. Uh, sandstone, cancel sweep. So that will get this done a lot faster. It's just the sand that I was wanting. 
and that will get them working on here before the cycle ends. All right, bedrooms are finally getting there. Very good. Slowly but surely, we do want to get bristle or briar seeds put into these. Which means we want to dig up a few more. So let's put a dig order on this one and this one. I think we can get down in there and do that. Um, more of them. Well, that one when we get there. That when we get there. And you are the muck root, I think. All right, but that should be enough to get one plant in each of the bedrooms. And we are filling this in. Good. Day is almost done. And for some of you new to the game, if it's ever necessary, we have an emergency plan here. If we've got a burst water supply that's leaking, or if we've got, you know, make, a, make up your own emergency. Oxygen has run out and they're dying, and we've got to get the power supply finished to get oxygen production going again. There is this red alert button that will cause them to ignore all of their basic needs so that they will not sleep, they will not eat, they will not do anything until emergency is done. So I haven't had to use that this series and hopefully won't have to, but sometimes things happen. There's a actually a pile of good stuff in there that I don't want taken away. Hmm. All right, so we're going to sweep Maybe we'll use it right now. That's some really good stuff. We've got another, maybe a, an hour of their day left. Let's see how much of the, the sweeping orders get done here. Otherwise, yeah, I think we will get that algae and those seeds out of there. And the copper. So there's some good stuff hiding in there. And there it is. All right, let's stay right where you're at. Let's get the sweeping done. So let's sweep nine, this little pile here too. Because this guy is going to walk over there and eat it all. In fact, here he comes right now. No, he didn't fall. Huh. We may have to coax him too. And that's doable. That is doable. Actually, in that case, cancel the red alert. He's not going down there. You guys go salvage what is left of nighttime. 28%. Yeah, we're stressing them out a little bit. So next priority is going to be a massage room, a, a de-stressing spa. How does that sound? Off of the main pathway, so main highway is going to go around this. Otherwise, I think we're going to go ahead and continue the ladders right on up and through. There'll be another main pathway up here so they can Drop into the room so they can dive off top or bottom to go sideways and go wherever they need to go. So, where to put the massage room? I'm kind of thinking bank of storage here. Maybe a bank of storage here. Both sides of the base will have the storage, which means right up above would be a good place. I think so. Temperatures, 100 degrees over here. 93 degrees, so we're quite warm up in these areas because of... Oh, hello. Pincha pepper plant. You are a climbing vine that can be domestically grown with planter boxes. Uh, when it matures, it produces a flavorful pepper nut that can be used to spice foods. That's some of the higher quality foods up in here that'll be spiced with the uh, with things like this. So there's some... Oh, there's some pepper nuts right there. So those pepper seeds... Is that the same thing as a pepper nut? I don't know. And you're another f reed. Okay. Um, so we've got heat in here. And what was causing the heat was my thought. We know what's causing it down there. And a steam geyser. So you're what's causing it up in this area too. We have a lot of heat around here. Well, if we want a, a sauna a spa to go get your massage, then yeah, it makes sense that there'd be a little bit of warmth in this one. Okay, we will do that. So next major plan is at least to lay out a, uh, a, a spa. So I'm just looking at, how did you get over? No, you're the one that lives there or there. Yeah, 
Anything else on this floor that's real important? Sand. Let's harvest this. Grab you. What are you? You're a bottle of water. Odd that there's a bottle of water right there. Can I even trigger it? I cannot. Wow. Nope, that's just that's just gonna live right there. Um that distracted me. Oh, the, the hatch. Yeah, so there's nothing else in here that's super important. He can go ahead and eat what's left, including the granite and the... the oh, there's granite there, too. Okay. Anyway, he'll, he'll eventually... There he is. He went to sleep in that pile of dirt. Um, so let's get into here. So I want to... I might consider insulating this edge. Do I have that yet? I do not. There'll be an insulation tile soon. But furniture... Massage table. Does anything else go here? Would this be a place for our uh, medical as well? Our med medicine, our medical cot. I kind of like that idea. You're going to go there and I'll say two massage tables. Uh, there. 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 And then let's put in walls like so. It's going to get us into what? Hydrogen? Just a little bit of hydrogen. That's not too much of a problem. So one, two, one, two for a, a picture over the top. I think that'll work. So let's run you across. And this time I'm going to hold a shift button down. Okay, something like that. Cancel you. And you tile down to put a door in there if I need to, but let's ladder up into this. I'm not sure about how I'm going to connect to the uh, to the the buildings yet. If if anything else needs to go in that space or not. But for right right now, let's dig out. Hmm. Let's dig out the room there, and right there, for now. Yep, I think that'll do. Can we pause for something? Sure, quiet. Nope. Got more uh, mealy worms. Good. And this way they're not going to eat them. Calories at 15,000. Because... Bristle berries. Got to find something to make with those. We still have some lice loaf. We do have lice loaf. So they just processed all that really fast. That's what that was about. Okay. Um, anyway, priorities. We'll make this group an eight. All the way through there. And down into here. Get that one going. Bedrooms, you are a nine. I want to get that painting done. Otherwise, research is done. Okay. And it is Murphy's turn. 24. So we're kind of holding in that... Uh, that 20 range, and when more of these paintings get done, then they will de-stress themselves as, as more and more of this stuff finishes. Let's get priority 9 also, because we have the seeds available. So, there, 9. Let's get these plants planted. Okay, so that's going to add to it. That will go away as soon as this is done, and that's probably going to be next episode, because we're hitting that half hour mark, aren't we? Got the, uh, the lice loaf being uh, processed there. And still lots and lots of carbon dioxide. Let's do something to try to mitigate some of this. Seems extreme for right now, for this early in the game, but let's see if this helps. Let's put you in at a 9 there and there. And let's put you in at a 9 there and there. And there should be enough time to see that done today. We'll get this done. And then next episode, if I think of it, we'll start about here. And see if that did us any good. Let's dig you out because you're in the way. You may release something too. Let's see what's in there. Alright, let's just kind of watch and see what happens right here. As nothing happens. Where are you guys at? You're cleaning up a mess down here. 
the hash did not move down. Eventually I could dig this out during the daytime when he's buried and he'll fall in. So there is that way to move things around. Otherwise, are we heading down here? We are. Grabbing water? We're not. We're going to get the, uh, the existing ones up and running. Okay. So I guess you guys are all busy doing other things. Oh, we, okay. We're, you're planting these guys. I see. All right. So probably next episode we'll get into that one. I think so. So this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.